What's up guys, my name is Julie and this is The Curated Curvy where I bring you along for the journey as I attempt to create the curated wardrobe of my dreams with these two hands and today I have for you all a sewing update. That's what we're gonna call this. So if you haven't already seen my March, which is just like a week of March sewing plans video, I will link that for you up there so that you can go check that out. This here is an update on that video. So this week I was busy and I did get the things done. So I wanna talk about those things with you all, update you on where I am with my capsule for my travel plans and what I plan on adding to it, if anything, which I haven't really thought through. So I guess we're just going to work through that entire thought process together on the video. But first things first, let's talk about the clothes. So in my video, I did state that I wanted to complete three garments for sure. And then one garment if I had enough time. Now the if I had enough time garment has been cut out but I haven't sewn it up yet. So if you remember, I was talking about taking, I wanna say it's Vogue 91, 97, and another Vogue pattern, which the number escapes me right now, but I'll have those both on the screen for you, obviously. I was thinking of taking the 91, 97 top and mashing it with the pants from the other Vogue pattern and creating a jumpsuit. That was based off of a inspiration photo that I found on Instagram. Now, I did get that cut out. Originally, I said that I was gonna cut it out of this here gorgeous flannel that I found at the thrift store. This is a a bed sheet 100% cotton flannel thrifted it made a shirt from it have a good bit of it left over so I was thinking I would do it out of this but the more I thought about it it just didn't sit right with me and I think it is because of the amount of structure in this fabric so one of the key components of the inspiration picture was how flowy and drapey the look was and I really wanted that to come through in my recreation so I chose not to cut it out of this fabric and I chose to cut it out of another fabric from my stash let me grab it if I can find it. Where's that fabric? Okay, so I picked up this fabric at a like fabric store called Warehouse Fabrics in Dallas, Texas that I go try try to go to at least once a month for fabric shopping. I want I believe it was not labeled. So at the little background, at the fabric store, they have a $3 remnants bin. And in that bin, you get like your little fill of fabrics, whatever you take out of the bin. They're all usually off cuts, probably like their sample cuts. You can get that fabric for $3 a yard. The only catch is that you have to buy the entire cut. So if it's two yards, you have to buy both yards. If it's six yards, you have to buy all six yards. So I found this, it was unlabeled. I think it is a linen rayon. Anyway, this is the fabric. It's really pretty, it's really light and drapey. It has these colorful lines running through. And I really like the way that I look in blue. So I chose to cut out this fabric for the jumpsuit instead. Um, when I picked this up, there was actually two separate cuts of it, so I knew I would have enough. And I actually have all of this left over. I think I'm gonna make a shirt dress with that, but another story for another day. So I did get the jumpsuit pattern cut out Fingers crossed, I get it sewn up in time. I don't really have like a massive chunk of time to dedicate to sewing from this point to the time that we leave. So it may not get done. But one of the comments that I got on that video encouraged me to sew it up even if it was after the trip because it was a worthy idea and I took that comment to heart. So even if I don't get to make it for the trip, I'll make it as soon as I get back. Okay, now another thing I said I was gonna do with Simplicity 9337, this is quickly becoming a favorite of mine and the version that I have is nothing like the pattern envelope because I literally like hacked it to the umpteenth power, but I have a crop version with a three quarter bell sleeve on it and it is just really cute and um really comfortable. This, I made two more of these same shirts last month which literally was like last week but i made two more of these same shirts which i have here so i'll be taking all three of these with me i don't know if actually if i'll be taking all three of these i think i'm going to be taking these two with me this one i haven't been reaching for as much it needs a little bit of help but these two i definitely will be taking me but back to what i made i made this one like i said it's just cropped and it has a three-quarter bell sleeve the only reason it has a three-quarter bell sleeve was because these were two remnants that i picked up from joanne um, which I did talk about in a fabric haul video, which I will also put up there for you. Um, so because it was a remnant, the second cut was not long enough to cut out the full sleeve on green correctly. So I ended up having to just like fold the pattern up and cut the sleeve out that way. But it worked out just fine. And I think it's just as cute. And it's also kind of good because the sleeves are like bell and they're really long. It makes it kind of impractical for like my day to day what I'm doing around the house. Having it this way like beyond the trip makes it just far more wearable 
for at home when I'm trying to get things done. So I also got that this shirt done this week. All right, next was the vintage butter pattern, which I want to say was 49.28 or 40. I don't know something like that obviously I'll put it up on the screen for you and I did get it sewed it is wrinkled because I literally wore it the next day when I went out I love this so much like I think I told you in that video I'm really in like my oversized collar shirt phase right now I just I don't know they're really comfortable kind of like cool and relaxed and so I literally like I said the next day after making it I did go ahead and wear this shirt and I really really like it the only thing that I don't love about this shirt is I feel like the sleeve is unresolved so I'm not a fan of like the lapped wristbands but I think this could use one I think it would really complete the shirt and make the shirt if I don't do that then I think what I am gonna do is lengthen the sleeve so that I'll have enough to fold up and then I'll put like some sort of elastic just to bring that um, wristband in a little more I feel like because the shirt is kind of like boxy it just needs some shaping somewhere even if it's in the arm just so that everything's not so big if that makes sense now with this shirt i did size up it's a vintage pattern but it is like 1990 and fun fact the big four patterns are still using the same measurements today that they were <laughs> using then so my measurements are still the same but i have found sometimes that the amount of ease they put in patterns back then is a little bit different than today so i went ahead and i sized up um into a size 20 for this and it's not as boxy and loose fitting as I want it to be. So I'm going to go back into the pattern. Luckily, I did trace it off so it's not cut. So I'm going to go back into the pattern and I'm going to go ahead and trace off the 22 just to get a more um, like a more oversized fit than the shirt is giving me. But I really, really like the way this came together. One of the cool features about this shirt is the pocket, how it's angled. And I was able to play with the placement of the stripes. I was thinking of putting it on the diagonal because I see a lot of people do that and I think it's really cool. But I didn't want to play with like bias and all of that. So I just turned them this way. And like I said, I was able to play with the direction of the stripes and I really like how that came together. And this is definitely a 10 out of 10. And actually, actually, <laughs> I have some um, mustard color linen. It's like a viscose linen blend. It's more viscose than it is linen, but I have a mus mustard color viscose linen blend that I want to do this shirt out of too. Again, that might be a when I get back project because I don't know how much time um, I really have realistically to sew between now and leaving in a few days. Um, so yeah, like I said, I absolutely adore this shirt. I think it came out so fun. It's so cool. I love the pattern. I'm glad that I held onto this fabric and like didn't hastily cut into it because I all I have always really really liked it but I feel like this was the perfect pattern for that fabric and the last thing that I want to show you is this dress this is simplicity 9702 now I am not going to talk much about this dress because I am about to do a pattern review on it and I will go into all of the details with you on that video of the construction and my thoughts and all of that fun stuff but for right now I will show you the dress so it is this dress I did make some modifications to it like I said I'm not going to go into too much detail because I plan on talking about it um in that video this is another one of those viscose linen blends from joann's and this gorgeous turquoise color and as you can see clearly i have a thing for this color because it's literally the color of my walls <laughs> um so yeah clearly this is my color this is the dress i told you guys i wanted like an easy breezy just throw on extra dress to take and it is definitely like a throw on and go type dress which i am very very happy about Stay tuned for that video where I go over all those good details with you. All right, so one of those rare weeks where I got to actually pretty much sew up everything that I had planned to sew up. Now, if I have my way, I do want to get that jumpsuit sewn up. I'm going to try and squeeze in some time tonight once like the house settles down and see if I can get the ball rolling on that. I feel like it's going to be a pretty simple construction. Um, I didn't cut out the pocket pieces, so I don't know if I'm going to omit the pocket altogether or if I'm going to go back and add it oh uh, I don't know we'll see but I do have it all cut out oh yeah and the thing that I think is gonna save me and allow me to get that done tonight pretty quickly is I'm not gonna line it so if you can tell here with this dress I finished the neckline with a bias arm um, binding which is something that I've done before and I usually prefer to do because I don't like facing. So I think with a jumpsuit, one of the ways I'm gonna save myself a little bit of time is by finishing the neckline with bias tape think um 
but it's one of those things where we'll see um yeah and that's it i think the last part of this video is going to be hopefully like all of the clothes in action so while i am out like at the airbnb with the family hopefully i'll be able to take like daily snapshots and show you what i'm wearing and how all of the pieces are working for me i do have several things planned throughout the time that we're going to be gone and so i feel like my clothes <laughs> And so I feel like the clothes that I picked out are going to be pretty well paired for those situations. Fingers crossed. Until next time. Until next time. Stay beautiful and make great things. Bye.